nail divas it's me princess d and we are back with part two of their second collection um and we are going to start off with the biggest number of the m06 which is a gorgeous brown I really like browns. Ooh. I'm not sure if I like this one right now. Actually, you guys. That could be a brown jelly with one coat. Right? Can you see it? Can you see my ring through it? <laughs> okay, Diana. So, number M05. Now, you guys, I remember ordering a few different shades. I know... I ordered like a mustard yellow in one of these two collections and I did not get that. And I know I didn't order four browns, but that's what I was sent. Um, so I'm going to have to talk with the young girl, um, the young lady that sells this brand and see um, what happened with my order. So number five is another beautiful brown and I really do like the way the polish goes on it goes on very nicely it's not real thick and I don't I don't like a gel polish that's real thick now with regular polishes back in the day they they used to sell a polish thinner that you can get like in a four I used to get a four well I have some it's like a four ounce bottle that um, I would get from Sally's and of course I don't have it right here with me but <clears throat> excuse me I'd get a four ounce bottle from Sally's and it would be good for me and I would have had to worry about getting my polish thick but with gel polish I don't know that there's a fix for that or not but I don't know if anybody knows how to thin out a gel polish please let me know down below because I have a few brands that I love the shade that they have but I, I'm not in love with how thick the polish is because, like, the thicker the polish, the harder it is to cure. However, now I have a Pretty Diva 54-watt lamp that will indeed cure pretty much anything, I'm sure. And I think I'm going to do a video on that to see... Um, to put it to the test, you know. I'm sure you guys are curious as well. Now this is M05, you guys. That is a really pretty brown. In all fairness, like, I guess I'm glad that these ones were sent. I don't have too many browns, and now I have four different shades of brown, so, yeah, that's good for me, I guess. I really would have liked to have gotten the colors that I think I remember ordering. If it's on me, I'm sorry. I'm trying to remember. But, I have been known to be a wrong when I depend on my memory. So, I'll check my order and make sure that I'm not wrong. I'm not sure if I top-coated that bottom one or not. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do it again anyway. So, there is that one. 
I think I'm going to do a Momo nail art um, video. Why am I closing that, you guys? You got to tell me about my all right, so on to M0. Love this one, you guys. This is one of my favorite ones. I hope I'm not off the screen. So there's the first coat of that one. And let's just zip on through to the first coat of the M02. And I will cure those. Okay, there you have it. Those are the Momo Black Bottle Collection. I think they're called the Love Carry Collection. The Momo Love Carry Collection. So I'm going to spray my little towel again. I'm using the same towel, so... Don't judge me. I'm going to wipe off that tacky layer of my non-tacky base coat. Okay. So there are those. And then that is one coat of number four and number two. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second coat and be back. All right, folks. There you have it. Those are your Momo colors, except for this one. Those are your Momo Oh, except for these two. That's these four colors. Right here. Right there. So, let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorites are. You know, I want to know. Let's see how... Um, similar we are and which ones are our favorites um it's hard for me to choose i don't know i think i'd wear this one the most but i see myself using this a lot in nail art um because i don't have a good brown this is more like a mauve or a salmon and this one is like a baby poo <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> it's a nice brown. They are all nice colors. I absolutely love them. I will wear all of them. And I'm going to go ahead and check on their no wipe top coat so that I can get it. Because I do prefer a no wipe rather than a um, tacky layered top coat because it's not as shiny. I mean, if your clients or you do not care if it's a super shine top coat then this is the top coat for you um but if i my clientele i can't get it shiny enough for them so my go-to shiny top coat no wipe top coat so far has been the i may lee um no wipe top coat um that's my favorite no wipe this, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt and say that it is not a no wipe top coat and I was just sent the wrong thing. Um, but I will keep you updated on what happens with the order and if it was a my bad or if it was a Momo bad. But we shall see. These are all the Momo colors that I tested except for this silver one. That's a no, no, not a Momo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a goofball. Get it. Get you some of that. I'm a goofball. Get you some of that. Say what? Yeah. Okay. Don't forget, be be delicious. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.